All right. Welcome to another uh, episode of Salty and Fresh. I am Fresh. And I'm Salty. All right. <laughs> All right, Topher, good to good to see you. Happy New Year. And, Happy New uh, Year. Merry Christmas. Yep. Um, so we kind of just were discussing that we were going to talk about uh, kind of stuff that's going on in the Discord. Um, is there anything specific that you wanted to bring up or... So the, maybe one of the last times people would have seen you on, uh, on video since, since no one watched our last episode. So it would, it would have had to have been a previous conversation. Uh, <laughs> how many views uh, does it have? Uh, 50 years. Anyway, the, uh, so last time, last time you were on was I think with Julian on the, on the Randos channel. Uh, and we'll pause here and just do a quick shout out. Jeff P. Uh, thank you so much for working on the intro and the music. Thank it you, sounds Jeff. Great. Yeah. Well done. And, uh, and so last time you were on the Randos channel would have been with, uh, with Julian. I was on with Jeff most last recently. Time. Oh, okay. But, so, but one, of, one of your most recent ones from me about a year Julian, ago yeah. was with Julian. And at the beginning of that conversation, he asks you if you've been on the Discord yet. And you say, no, what is it? And he says, oh, watch out. It's a time sink. <laughs> and, so, and so if we pick up, if we pick up the narrative there. So, uh, so when did you join the discord and kind of what were your, what were your initial reactions to popping onto the server? Um, well, I, I joined, I guess a year ago. That's, it's funny because now Julian's not on the discord anymore. Not very much. Yeah. He, he comes on every now and then, yeah. but, um, so I don't remember what my, I, I mean, I lurked for a while. Like I couldn't, it, it's the worst thing is going into the voice chat and just sort of sitting there and and listening to a conversation and you have something to say but you don't know if you can say something right on um it, so that, but, that's you, you say that's the worst thing that's that's like your 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 yeah that was for, my mm -hmm. because like i would have something to say and i'm like can i chime in or like i didn't know what the social rules were mm -hmm. on discord so it took me a little bit to do you remember who out. was there do you remember who, like when when you would pop in and kind of and lurk who what the um, cast of characters who you'd be listening to were I can't remember anyone's names. I can kind of see their avatars or if they had their cameras on. There was a couple of guys that would have cameras on. I mean, Nick was there. Um, I remember some good, I mean, Sherry was there from almost the beginning. Um, I'm have to, I'll throw you some names that you, Iron Root, presumably. Would Iron Root, quite yep. a bit. yeah. Uh, Andrew was there, I think, yep. quite a bit. Yep. Um, maybe, maybe me, I, I, I hung out quite a bit. Yeah, and then there was another guy who I don't see so often anymore, but I can't remember. Is I think it's Tyler. Tyler Pl the... Plebristocrat. Yep. yep, I I really enjoyed a lot of the stuff that he talked about. Yeah, so I, I still I I still kind of keep up with him. We we kind of okay, talk good. on an ongoing basis, which is pretty cool. I'm very lucky to to have him as a as a wise voice on my shoulder. Yeah, I never really had too many conversations with him, but I I remember just listening to him talk to people a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, so. And then, I, I mean, I tried like, I mean, I tried like just going around the Discord and, you know, adding a comment here, but I couldn't, it, it's kind of hard to keep up with everything. Mm -hmm. It's there's so, uh, there's so many, I don't even try with the text channels. There's so many text channels and kind of, you know, yeah, where, where stuff is happening, whether it's in general, whether it's in the meme channel, whether it's, mm -hmm. you know, orthodoxy or something like that. I, I don't know either. And then there's so many off, offshoot servers as well. That, like, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I mainly just stuck to voice chat and then sometimes that would lead into a text chat. But other than that, I was just in, in voice chat. And then most recently Paul opened, or I guess it was Paul had the idea for the open studio. And that's, that's better for me. I just like seeing people. And mm -hmm. so like there were days when Jeff P and I were just in there with our cameras on and it was just nice to work with someone next to, next to you. And, uh, Jeff P and Jeff P. Yep. We're the same person. Yeah, pretty much. Um, okay. So, so that's interesting. So, so you're kind of, what I'm hearing you kind of say is that you, you've actually kind of been struggling to kind of find purchase and find, get, kind of get a, a hold on kind of how to be in that space, basically up until like a month ago when, when Paul created the open studio channel. Yeah. I mean, before that I was starting to find my way in the voice chat. If, if I was familiar with people mm -hmm. and, you know, like I, I started kind of having good conversations with Sherry and uh, when Jeff was in there, when Luke was in there. Um, so, so those are the kind of people, like you kind of find a, a few people that you uh, yep. um, click with and then, then 
have conversations and then I, I've got like messaging conversations with people. And then Luke's got a Voxer thread thing that I'm on. The, uh, an interesting thing that I noticed, cause so after, so I recently did the conversations with Paul and one of the things that I noticed after that, so he, in that conversation, he kind of made this point about kind of high resolution, low resolution, and that, you know, when you first meet anyone that a huge amount of kind of who they are to you is, is mostly projection that like, it's, you're mm -hmm. kind of looking at what they look like, looking what they sound like, you know, and then you're kind of filling in the blanks of like, well, how educated are they? Can I, you know, where, what, what part of the country are they from? What might they do as a job, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And that kind of gradually that fills in, especially if those people have done, you know, if, if you work like you and I do with our hands uh, and are able to kind of watch his conversations, then you're able to watch those, those people do the conversations with Paul. And then you're able to kind of update to a huge degree, like to increase the resolution of your picture of that person. And then all of a sudden, you're much more able to when they show up kind of go for a little bit more of an, of an ambitious conversational gambit right like mm -hmm. so when you don't know someone it's like oh you know how's the weather because like it's like you know if i if i kind of throw some curveball at you about kind of orthodox theology or something like that it's like i have no idea whether you're going to pick that up or pass it back to me or interested in it etc um Whereas once, once they're able to do one of these conversations with Paul, then you have much more information and kind of much more context with which to kind of start a conversation. Right. And so that actually, like one of the things that I noticed after, I mean, I think this is actually an example of it. Like this, what we are doing right now to some degree is an example of you feeling more confident to kind of reach out to me because you knew who I was and kind of what I was up to and, and what I like to talk about. Um, uh, like right after the, me, me doing that video with Paul. And so when you were saying, the reason I thought of this is because you were just saying like who you, who you found are able to find conversations with. And for the most part, those are people who have provided uh, some material for you to kind of get a higher le resolution picture of like, whether it's Sherry, whether it's Luke, whether it's Jeff, yep. et cetera, these people have put themselves out there a little bit and then, and then, and you've put yourself out there a little bit. And so then that cre like kind of is the fertile, fertile soil for, uh, you know, ongoing conversations kind of in the discord space to, to grow from. Yeah. How, how about, how about you? When did you first get on the discord? Um, so I think I, I joined maybe, I think last summer. Mm -hmm. So just over a year and a half ago, or sorry, not just over, but like roughly coming yeah. up on kind of a year and a bit ago. Um, uh, yeah, they started, they were talking about a bucko con and stuff. And I, so I happened <laughs> to, I happened to, you know, have thousands and thousands of dollars worth of loudspeakers and the microphones and, oh, right. and, and that kind of stuff. And so I was kind of reaching out saying like, Hey, and, and I'm also like, you know, I'm pretty plugged into the great, you know, to the Southern Ontario area. Uh -huh. uh, you know, like I have lots of friends, lots of family and like, you know, I have and specifically, I have a friend who has like a bed and breakfast that could probably sleep like 30 or 40 people. Right. And so, and so I was kind of saying like, Hey, like if we, <laughs> a bucko con, <laughs> yeah, just if, yeah, if, if we were going to do it in Ontario, which would make some right. degree of sense, right? Like if, you know, if there was an idea of maybe getting Peugeot involved or Verveke involved or even Peterson involved, um, that, you know, tr and, and, you know, Toronto has probably is a, is a good flight destination for a lot of people. And so I yep. was saying, Hey, you know, if, if, uh, if you guys need a hand with a Toronto based bucko con, uh, I'd be happy to help. Cause it's, you know, it seems like a super cool thing to be involved with. Um, and so I popped in and then kind of since then, so ha, ha, let me, let me cast back. Um, yeah. Who did I, who did I first meet? I mean, I think I like it probably iron root, like many, like, so I bet you, if you were to do a survey on the discord about who the first <laughs> person for everyone to interact iron with, root. Yeah. <laughs> iron root would be the, the, the winner. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess like I was, I was relatively familiar with discord from using it for, uh, for using it for computer games and stuff like that. And I was also, um, I was also on relatively frequently kind of playing computer games. And so yeah. then, you know, when you're kind of hovering your, your cursor over the servers, you know, you and then you, uh, maybe this is a, a time to pause and just point to the fact that one of the things that's been quite striking, uh, you know, so I, I'm, I've pro I'm probably a veteran of something like 30 servers or something like that. Like oh, gosh. I, you know, yeah, it came in. Well, a lot of them I've left by now, right? Yeah, but yeah. I've, I've probably, you know, whether it's gaming servers, whether it's, you know, individual servers, whatever, I've probably joined and left something like 30 servers now. And one of the things that you see almost all, like like 90% are just constantly empty. 
right? That like that mm -hmm. the the vast majority of of Discord servers are ghost towns. Yeah. And it's it's and then some get like little surges, like they get popular for a while, like whether you know, and especially especially if there's a celebrity who's kind of driving it. So like on the portal on Lex's server. Um, there's kind of a few different servers like that where they're kind of nuclear nucleated around a celebrity of some degree who then actually comes in and spends some time. Uh, and and when they're kind of investing time, then the population of the server kind of swells and swells and swells and builds and builds and builds. And like, you know, it can get up to 5,000, 6,000. And then you can have like, you know, channels where there's 100 people in them at a time. But then generally speaking, as soon as that celebrity stops investing their time in 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 propping up the server, they become they they die like they they become right. i mean the, the server is still six thousand people in it but no one's right. in there and so one of the interesting things um one of the special things about paul server is that uh it has been you know quite stable quite um you know relatively popular like kind of just healthy and and it's been so with relative relatively little uh input from paul that like you know he's he's been a little bit he's been around a I mean, little he's bit been doing those time. weekly friday meetings which i think has helped sure yeah that might that might have picked it back up because it probably did get a little bit quiet for a while and then he kind of revived it yeah but, but yeah but, but among among the servers like i say it's probably the most healthy and it's also i would say one of the ones that has been most like gingerly propped up on the back of like internet celebrity, both from the fact that Paul's right. relatively not the biggest celebrity and that he's been very sparse. But anyway, yep. yeah. And so, so what, and so what, do you have any thoughts on why that might be? Why, why is the server? Uh... Um, well, I, I do think that, I mean, he, he's not, I mean, he's in the open studio quite a bit. I mean, people see him. So like if they watch his videos and then come to the server and they see him, um, I think having him on, I don't know. I, I but wonder, the, the open, I wonder if Paul left how long it would take before the server died. Yeah. If like he didn't show up at all on the server. Well, I mean, he basically didn't for like a year and like many months. Yeah. Right? Like he, he only, he only opened that open, open studio thing about um like what, a month ago, maybe something yeah. like that. And so Right. Like, so it, it survived, right. you know, it had, right. it had, it had hot stretches and cold stretches, but it largely survived for over a year with, with almost no input from him. So, well, so and, the, and I, it's I, interesting too, because like people, well-known people from Paul's channel. So like Nick, mm -hmm. uh, Nick, like had like four or five videos with Paul. And then I went into the server and I was excited to just hear Nick talk about stuff and mm -hmm. ask him questions about things. So, so it's almost like, Paul can offshoot small celebrities yeah. <laughs> to go to go talk on the server and and it kind of keeps the momentum going and since he's always talking to new people like it's always um and, and like you said you could find someone on the server and then be like they're like hey yeah I did have a conversation with Paul and you're like oh I'll go check it out and then you check it out and then next time you talk to him you kind of have that full re that full resolution picture of them in interestingly in, in Nick's case I so I, I think your point stands without Nick as the best example, just in that. Um, uh, so I've, I have, you know, uh, I've done quite a bit of discording with Nick. And so I have followed him from, you know, bridges over to the portal over to uh, awakening from the meeting crisis. And um, for whatever reason, that dude has a capacity to like, you know, let's just call it like personal magnetism or whatever. That like there's something <laughs> something about him he could start like, his own cult <laughs> yeah basically like, like you know there's something about the long-haired dude making knives shooting bows and etc uh and and speaking really really eloquently and well oh uh, yeah it, uh, like one of the things i remember one of the observations i made about him was that he was one of the best people at kind of linguistic acrobatics and so you know one way i like to visualize kind of conversation is like as a game of like volleyball or ping pong or tennis it's right. some sort of game where there's kind of a rallying aspect to it where i say something and then i then there there's kind of like a a handoff and and how well a person kind of passes you back the ball is is radically uh divergent across individuals right right like some people 
some people to play with it's like it's you know it's just the easiest all you got to you know every time it's just like oh this is a nice soft you know silky smooth pass and all i got to do is kind of catch it kind of you know, <laughs> pop it up in the air a couple times right. and then just i can and i can throw them anything back and they're going to keep the conversation going yeah, yeah. and then, then there's other people who you know you 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 hand them a lob and they just let it fall on the on the sand and you're like really like that was <laughs> come on man uh anyway so and so what nick nick is i, I remember observing him being amazing at was no matter what someone said to him, he had a way of kind of like, like becoming invertebrate for a split second to contort himself linguistically in order to like reach way up and go like, oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense about what we were talking about because oh, right. of this. Like, like I, you know, whatever, whatever, completely nonsensical non sequitur <laughs> that you just pass back to him. He's like, let me see if I can bring that back into the flow. Wow, I did it. Uh, so, and so that's that has a a really kind of yeah, powerful, like a powerful, a positive, powerfully positive effect on the flow of conversation. Where, you know, those kind of awkward moments when someone says something that just kind of is a, is a bit. Um, you know, you know, it just doesn't work or whatever. That, right. To, to have someone who has the ability to pull it back into 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 sense is really powerful. Anyway, so it, all I was just kind of trying to say is that, um, uh, yeah, that that Nick's ability to have people excited to talk to him might not be predicated on the fact that Paul had him on it for a few channels. I think that just might be. Yeah. Great. Well, he's he's just a good storyteller and that too, and you know, excellent philosopher and yeah. uh, has so many experiences in life you know so that all that all helps now, now um, that we've talked about him this much we got to make sure he watches this <laughs> no <laughs> sorry what were you gonna say uh i was just i was just gonna say that i've had some of the well because of covid i've had the best conversations of the year all on discord probably mm -hmm. um or at least with people that i've met through discord and some ongoing stuff that i'm like really excited about and um, but so the conversations have been good, but there's like, like talking like this, there's aspects that, that you miss. And one example that, so I forget where I heard it from, but it was like, you know, when you go over to someone's house, there is the interaction of, uh, coming into the house. Mm -hmm. And so there's the greeting. So you, you knock on the door, they let you in, they say, Oh, how are you doing? Da, 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 da. And you kind of get situated, you take off your shoes or whatever you take off your coat. Um, and you go sit down and then the conversation starts. And then when you leave, like it's all that, there's all the, the leaving ritual. Mm -hmm. So, so you're missing all the leaving and, mm -hmm. and gathering rituals. And, um, because on the server, you're just like, all right, gotta go. And you, you know, you click off and I, that always seems like, like, I wish it was, you know, I'm from the, I'm from Idaho and now I live in the Midwest. I kind of wish it was a little more of an ordeal where it's like, bye, see you later, you know, yeah. <laughs> but like, that doesn't, you, let me give you a hug. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Drive safe. Like, like does, I mean, so that's one example of, of something that, that is like missing. Do, do mm -hmm. you think like, so since you've been interacting online, do you notice anything that's like oh, missing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so much. Right. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, there's so many, there's like, like you say, on one hand, it ha it has been, it can be, and has been so cool. Like some of the best conversations. And I was, I was actually, you mentioning that, uh, I think is, is kind of the answer to our, that previous riff we were on about kind of what has made the server able to survive as long as it has. I think, I think that the answer is something along the lines of, um, really good subject matter right that like evergreen subject matter like you know yeah whether it's christianity god you know life like like that the 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 portfolio of conversation topics that are kind of um implicitly the, the kind of the center of the you know the, the the wood for the fire on on that server are the best like they're they're just mm -hmm. that's that's the, be the best most evergreen stuff and then on top of that the fact that for whatever reason there's you know that the the selection mechanism of jo the Jordan Peterson crowd and then the subset of the Jordan Peterson crowd who found Paul uh, for whatever reason have ha you know has this this skew towards like a combination of great listeners politeness uh, openness uh, etc that and and let's say relatively high IQ um, so that that so that all that makes it just like you know a lot of great ingredients for great conversations which I think is is exactly why it has been as as uh, 
enduring as it has been. Um, but then, yeah, to get back to what you were just saying about, you know, things missing, it's like, oh yeah, absolutely all the time. Um, I, you know, the most, the, the most obvious example that kind of pops into my head is, is the, we did, so we did a, some Christmas parties recently on the server. Um, yeah. there was a couple of Christmas parties mm -hmm. and, uh, and yeah. And like, just the, 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 how static it is, right. That it's like, okay, like, you know, there's, there's something like, you know, a Christmas party is like, like an exciting, upbeat kind of energizing thing. But then because you're stuck in front of a camera, right? Like, because, because I have to sit in a chair or whatever, yeah. it's just almost impossible not to have your energy drain a little bit and kind of to get like to, to for it to be, let's say boring in some dimensions. Yeah. And, and then in particular, because, because of the, uh, the, you know, only one person can talk at a time. And so, you know, 98, 5% of the people who are in a given channel are just sitting, listening. Um, right. And so, you know, you're just, you're sitting and listening and, like you kind of want to be like, you know, whether it's, you know, it's at a Christmas party, you kind of want to be moving around the room, like talking to this person, talking to that person, like, you know, like smiling, giving people hugs. Like there's, there's just kind of a, yeah, there's, like you say, there's kind of this ritual or there's this, you know, embodiedness to it yeah. that is completely absent. And so, yeah, that, that, uh, but yeah, that dimension of things that kind of um, seeing the positives, but then also as you're going through it noticing the, the, the deficits that like, oh yeah, like, like this is it would be really cool if we could add this to this. I don't know how in the world you would, but. Well, uh, you, I, I think that's why Paul's pushing for like people to start like in meeting in person groups because yeah. it can't, it can't live like this necessarily forever. I mean, this is a good, it's a good thing for what it is, Yeah. but yeah. Are there, are there many people in Kansas that are on the server? I don't think so. Right. Um, I just, I know of one who's in Kansas city and mm -hmm. Every now and then he's in the open server, Lance. How, how are you, are you, uh, are you like an hour outside of Kansas city or five hours away? How far? No, I, I'm just like, I'm right there. Okay. Cool. So, so, know, uh, there's like maybe a, like two or three people from Toronto. Like, so oh, really? Sim, yeah. Which would, is surprising. You, like, go ahead. Would you like, uh, meet up with them? Sure. I would, but, uh, but I, I would hope you, you kind of hope that it'd be more than, more than a couple. Right. And which has been, yeah. like I say, it's a little bit surprising that like, you know, Peter's, Peterson's from Toronto, uh, Verveke's in Toronto, um, you know, Toronto, you know, Toronto is the kind of the, the center of like a 10 million person greater metropolitan, metropolitan area, mm -hmm. um, you know, so it's a, it's a pretty significant population. And then out of that population for there only to be like, I think if you look on the buckos in space, yeah, it's like maybe three, three pins or something like that. Yeah. And, and one of, one of them is already a friend of mine. Where's one, what's buckos in space? Oh, you don't know Buckos in Space? Buckos in Space. So, so yeah, this is in, intra Discord stuff. So, if, if you join <laughs> uh, the Discord server, Bridges of Meaning, um, highly recommend it. Uh, if you did, if you look at the in the welcome start here, let's see, I'll, oh, I'll click on it just so I get the, the tag of the. Uh, let's see. Yeah, oh, we'll there's drop, yeah, Buckos in Space, Google yep. drop a so, pin. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's a Google map, uh, kind of a, a special Google map thing where you can drop a pin on where exactly you are. And, okay, uh, I'm gonna. You're gonna drop this live, live. Uh, okay, I'll I'll fill for a second. <laughs> I'll sh I'll share my screen. Well, yeah. Why don't you just? Uh... Yeah, fill for. Okay, the uh. So shout outs and thank yous to. I don't know if I already. Uh, here we go. Zoom yeah, there's Lance. Here. Yeah, and then who's down in Springfield? Matthew E. Matthew. I don't know Matthew. Oh, interesting. Dallas is pretty. Is a Whoa, hot spot. out in the middle of nowhere. Lee Cooper and Carrow Springs. Oh, this, this is good. Is we'll just point sixty one. So this is one of the things in Toronto. I don't know if you noticed that on that on the one in St. George. It just says point sixty one. Like some people some people put their drop their point, but then they don't put a um Oh they don't right. So there's a there's a bunch of tags there in Toronto, but if you actually look closely, like point one eighty one, it's like okay. Like, is, that, <laughs> is, that a, is that a person? Is that like someone who's being shy? I don't, I don't know. Like or was to, it a mistake? I, I need to add my uh my pen. Where are you? There there's Topher. Yeah, pretty much. Right there. Mm -hmm. On Lake on Lake Ontario. Ontario. See, I don't know my Great Lakes. I didn't I've never been around there. That if you look if you look at it, oh it's actually surprise there's a few like Great Lakes that look awfully phallic if you look uh, a little bit too closely. <laughs> Anywho. Um so yeah, the Discord server. Uh so yeah, I mean I yeah, I joined I joined about a year and a half ago. Um 
we we kind of set up our, our, i've riffed on it a couple of times but we kind of set, set up an on we're not set up but it, a, a naturally organically oh, wait, wait. someone someone's here who could that be who could it be oh hey andrea with the bangs is here she oh, just my. dropped by what what brings you by well hello there fellas <laughs> i was hello. just in the neighborhood and thought i'd drop by that's, that's so lovely of you. Uh, after after the fifty view count on our last video, we could really use a boost from a from a real YouTube celebrity. Oh, oh, yeah. I would I would appreciate if your expectations were like slightly lower. Okay, but we're trying to make a big time. We're trying to make a big time. With I mean, with a little little dynamic of salty and fresh, who wouldn't make it big time with that? Yeah, yeah. Let's go on the promo. Can we run a promo? <laughs> Good. So we were, we were just talking about how, how we found the server. And then I guess, you know, yeah. So how, how did you, how did you uh, originally get on to Bridges of Meaning? Oh, well, that is a fun story. It's not really a story. It's just, um, I mean, like the one and only Paul Vanderclay invited me. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Personally, you got a personal invitation? I did. And here's the thing that's funny about that. He didn't even know he had spoken to me before <laughs> i had written him an email because i was like i'm having a crisis of like everything <laughs> and he was a cool pastor not one of those regular pastors he was a cool oh. pastor and so i wrote him and i just i was in a i was in a a deconstructive dark night of the soul situation how how, and, how long ago was this uh like uh, a year a year ago this past november doesn't it just, to, just to pause there doesn't it feel like it's been so much longer than a year to think that like so jess also joined about a year ago i i joined about a, a year and a few months ago and and that 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 has only been a year and a bit is kind of uh, it's like we've been on this server for, for 10 years yeah. which, yeah. which is <laughs> it, but well on the flip side right it's like the last like you know, it was 2016, like a blip ago, right? I can remember Hillary mm -hmm. Trump stuff, like, yep. like you know, or or even the Jordan Peterson wave, like you know, it was yesterday. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so it feels like time is moving like lightning speed, but at the same time, it also feels it like, like we've always we, been here. Exactly. Yeah. The server has been around forever. It's always been here. Yeah, we've so, always been a part of the server. Yeah. So yes, exactly. So so I wrote him. Um. I saw him, I saw Paul, okay, the way I first came upon Paul is I, I saw him on um, a fellow YouTuber, a friend of mine, uh, Benjamin Boyce's podcast or YouTube channel, and I was like, oh, this is the one I need to talk to, this, this is the Christian one mm -hmm. who I can trust, so that, and then I wrote him a letter, and then he wrote me back, and it was really helpful, the things he said, but he doesn't, he didn't remember who wrote that, like, he doesn't remember that. And, and then I think I, you'd have, I haven't actually figured out exactly how he found me. I, I think it might have been my David Fuller interview. And he was like, and I mentioned him. I mentioned Paul in the David Fuller interview. So maybe he was like, all right, this girl needs to be on the server. And he sent me the invitation twice because <laughs> in the same day, because he was uh, talking with my friend, uh, a friend, a mutual friend of ours on Twitter. He had just been on his podcast, I guess. And so they both were like talking and then tagged and then tagged me. And they're like, hey, join this Discord. And I was like, I don't know what this is. Mm -hmm. And then I just left it. And then, he, then they sent, then Paul sent it again and was like, but really here, just click on it. And so you had never, <laughs> you had never used Discord before, right? No, yeah. no, I like, I was, I mean, I'd been on Twitter and that was the most that I had branched out, which is like not branching out at all. <laughs> and what, so what, what were your first impressions of the server? So when you, like when you joined, oh, what, okay. do you remember who kind of the people who you would have been uh, interacting with were? Okay, was it, so was it in the voice the right chat or was it in text or? Oh, no, no. Voice chat was not even a thing. It wasn't even a twinkle in anyone's eye when I came. <laughs> It oh. was, I wish I would have loved voice chat so much better. So, so what happened was I, the first thing, one of the first things I wrote was, are my doubts safe here guys? <laughs> and everyone was like, yes, you're absolutely safe, safe space. You know, like, like, like unironically though, <laughs> you know, and, and, um, and I was, 
yeah, I was just very, um, uh, like, hey, I, I have encountered some really intense atheists over on Twitter. What's it like here? And then actually that's where I, um, with regards to who I interacted with, I uh, interacted quite a bit in that first meeting with Voth. He was the uh, really kind atheist who made a very big impression on me and, and really actually helped me to be okay. He said that he found those who doubt, Christians who doubt uh, uh, courageous rather than weak. Mm -hmm. And that really made a huge impact on me. Um, I guess for, I have most people know, but for those who don't know, Voth has, has passed away. But um, yeah, so he made a huge impact. And then I don't remember how, the Unitarianism came up and Sam Adams came at me. <laughs> came <laughs> at me. He's like the sweetest, the sweetest little man. Like, even though he's not little, he's like a tall guy. He is this, like, in person, he's just this, like, sweet Chicago and fella. But it, like, like, you know, he had all the, I was like, wait, wait, what? what are we saying <laughs> and then he's all like well if you look at this particular verse um it did not actually mean before abraham was i am the i am was actually not that uh claim of uh of oh so you still remember the particulars God. of this oh yeah oh yes yeah 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 i i it's a very impressionable moment in my life <laughs> so anyway so so yeah so i think it was sad and then like i don't know luke was probably in there like right. warning me about Sam, as if Sam <laughs> was someone to be warned about. I think I think I thought I remember hearing that uh, Benjamin had actually joined the server, but I haven't seen him yet. But apparently he, oh, there was oh he did, and he yeah. got overwhelmed. Really? Did, did he, he ever voice? did he ever pop into the voice chat? No, I I mean, uh, yeah. it, can, it can be overwhelming. There's like six I, servers and a whole I bunch of channels. I need to talk to him about it. I like I I wanted him to um, just do a Q and A with Paul. Right. And um and like here's the funny thing. So Ben, so I I basically this started with me sending Benjamin a Christmas card and then we were got to chatting and then it was like, hey, oh he's like, Oh yeah, bridges of meaning. Paul says it's good and I respect Paul, whatever. And so uh, we were talking and I was like, Okay, well, well maybe I'll maybe you can do the Q and A with Paul. That would be a good spot to start, you know. And then I, he's like, yeah, set it up with Paul. And so like, I do a group Twitter text. And then Paul like derails my plans. And like, so <laughs> it was like, well, okay. The thing about um, celebrity on the Discord, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Like we could do that, Benjamin. But if you, it, it's just like, there's so much more meaningful if you just, you know, kind of lurk and then pop in <laughs> even under a pseudonym you don't have to use a real name and i was like okay or you could do that too and not do the <laughs> thing that i thought would be good that's interesting i mean so so to his credit though okay so to give paul his due so that's that is a interesting choice on his part to kind of sidestep or dodge the invitation to do kind of a little bit more of a celebrity thing with ben. okay can i can i just say i did say Mm -hmm. I see you're coming at it from a pastoral perspective, mm -hmm. concerned with Benjamin's experience. I disagree. As opposed to the oh, okay. I think I think it has to do with the the maintenance of the garden that is that server, right? That like one of the things that makes that server what it is is the fact that it's relative. It grows relatively slowly and stably, right? So we were we were talking oh. earlier already about the fact that like. Um, among servers, right? So I'm on, I've, I was, I just mentioned earlier that I've, I've run like something like 30 different servers and 90% of them or more are just ghost towns, right? Like uh, you probably have had this, maybe, maybe you haven't had this experience, but I don't, okay. I, I don't go out much in the discord sure. space. Well, so guys. I do, so I, I, I can tell you <laughs> that like, I've, so I've been on both portal servers. There might be even more. There's like the coffee house, uh, game B there's Lex Friedman, there's, you know, et cetera, et cetera. There's, there's a few different, um, uh, servers that I kind of have I'm on that have thousands and thousands of people that are on the members list but the truth is they all sit empty all the time and really so, yeah and so the the most stable and healthy server in an ongoing basis is bridges of meaning and so what I see that as is kind of an affirmation of let's say the you know the powers that be whether it's Joey whether it's Job whether it's whether it's Paul's um, discretion as to kind of how to gently 
uh, kind of prune and nurture the organism that is that server and kind of allow it to kind of generally, gently grow under its own strength, as opposed to doing things like having someone like Ben come around and kind of, you know, have him put it on his channel and then have that reach thousands more people and then kind of have this giant wave of people flooding onto the server. And so I, I'm, I'm just guessing, right? It could just okay. be that he's being a, uh, a dick or something like that. <laughs> oh my gosh! But, oh, no, I never thought that. I, well, just, I don't I know. Was... It could be, like I say, it could be for any number of reasons, but if I was okay. trying to explain it uh, from uh, as best as I could, that would be my guess is that another perspective. I didn't yeah. think of that because it's kind of community, okay. community gardening. And, and, and I would say that this has been to me a, I think the, the success of the server to some, to some extent reflects very positively on the instincts on that kind of community gardening instincts of Paul that okay. and of, of everyone else on the server that they kind of understand that like oh you know this is we're trying to build a community here and we're trying to build a community that's not gonna you know just kind of be a flash in the pan gonna be exciting yeah. and fun or whatever for a few months and then just dead we're trying to kind of allow build something here that's gonna last and and so you kind of have to be you have to be kind of careful about that and okay. and it's been and the success like how well they've they've done that uh, to me like has been, what's the, what's the word I'm trying to say? Um, like it's an, the, how well it has turned out to be has been an affirmation of that instinct that like it, right. they, 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 they do know what they're doing. And so I, at this point, I'm, I'm willing to kind of trust them with, uh, with, with that. Anyway, rather than like little sassy Andrew with the bangs. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for ruining <laughs> my yeah. plan. Well, okay. Okay. But I think it's not too hard to tweak it. Because it could be an unrecorded conversation and it could be just a Q and A. Yep. Benjamin is also there and Yeah, you could take you treat. could take steps. You could take step to, you could take steps to have it be a little bit more down low. Or just have Ben just come and hang out a little bit and not talk about it to his audience and stuff like well, that. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I think that I and I, okay, and I could have been wrong, but I and your your motivation is sounding like it, that could have been it. But mm -hmm. I also did think that Paul was concerned with not the um not the rest of us of like oh we get to talk to benjamin but like benjamin himself of okay you're not gonna really do any sort of relational anything if you do that you know like you're not gonna you're not gonna see what is so great right about the community here yeah. if you come in as the whatever talker but i also was like i think we would be nice from the other side I think it is cool to have people um, come and do talks and like lectures, mm -hmm. you know, like, l l like there's some symbolic world people that Sherry has set up to have come in where we have had a lecture sort of symbolism lecture, like Jacob the Fool who runs the uh, Facebook group and the um, symbolism group and Adrian and I can't remember who else, but yeah, so, so, um, and I mean, we, we, we haven't had Peugeot, but like, yeah. I could always ask him, but like, but like we, we could, we could do those unrecorded or recorded and well, no, I don't know. We'll just say for safe safety sake, unrecorded. But. I think it is, it's definitely something that needs to be, uh, you know, played well kind of and carefully. And yeah. I could, and I see what you're talking about. Like, it would be kind of cool to have people come in and, and do like more of it, more of kind of a celebrity audience dynamic where they're just yeah. coming in and doing something. Uh, I think maybe, maybe in this case of Ben, Paul was hoping that like, so so as an example, right? Like, so let's say just, this is not going to happen, but Jordan Peterson was going to come and hang out on the discord, right? Yeah. Um, Jordan Peterson is never going to be one of us, right? He's never going to be a uh, bridges of meaninger. And so that relationship starting off on the foot of celebrity audience, eh, like who cares? Cause okay, he's, not, okay, he's okay, never going to be there. Right. But there's actually, yeah, you know, yeah. there maybe is a non-zero chance that Ben might one day be like, you know, uh, someone who enjoys hanging out and talking to us all the time and kind of and interacting with us on a peer to peer level. And so right. that like, it depends on who you're talking about, right? Like what, if it's, whether it's, you know, and I think maybe Jonathan might be in that case too, where there's, there is kind of a non-zero chance that Jonathan might kind of enjoy and benefit from, and we would benefit from having Jonathan be kind of, you know, hanging out and, okay, and having I have a peer to peer a relationship. I have two but, stories. I have mm -hmm. two stories about that. And then I'm going to, and then my time in the neighborhood is going to be done. <laughs> so, so, okay, you guys. Okay. I, I've, I've told this story a few times because it ends up always coming up, but <laughs> It, there have been two times that Jonathan Peugeot, at least from my knowledge, has popped in to under his under his name under his name, 
Yes, that's right. And both times I was the one talking. Of course. Of course, the most like, you know, even level headed gal around who doesn't like freak out at situations at all. Um, so the first time it was, um, it was, I think it was like a girl's night. I think it was like Sherry and Cassidy and Sally and me. So we weren't doing it on purpose. It just happened to be like all girls. And then lo and behold, <laughs> Pajot shows up and I'm talking. I'm in the middle of time. And I was just like, what? Pajot, what are you doing here? <laughs> And I'm like, go away. You're making me nervous. I can't talk with you here. Like literally I've like lost the, left the server. Explaining. No, I know <laughs> legit like, oh, I'm confirming all the worries of your celebrity status <laughs> by explicitly saying it. And then Sherry was like, Andrea, don't like, don't tell him no. And I was like, oh, I'm just kidding. No, stay and, and we love your opinion. And then he was like, and he was, he's just laughing. Like he's just laughing. And I'm just like, I'm really sorry. And I told you to leave. And he's just like, guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I just clicked. I saw people and I clicked. And I because he wasn't even on video, he was just an audio. He's like, I don't even know how to leave. <laughs> but I'm trying desperately. <laughs> he's like, get me out of here. You guys, yeah. like, you know, guys, I actually like Facebook messaged him and was like, I'm really sorry about that. And my insane reaction. He was like, no, no, it was funny. I was like, okay, good. <laughs> it and is then, funny. Okay, well, let's, let, okay, hopefully my, like, my charm of freaking out, <laughs> the charm was there. <laughs> so, and then the second time was on the Symbolic World group, where we were, we were reading this book called The I Meaning of Icons, and we're going through it really slowly, where we're looking at the first um, chapter, like, reading it out loud to one another during the, the talks, and so, um, so that's even a different server. So even though I'm like, I don't do a different servers, I guess technically I do go and do the book club every other Monday um, on the Symbolic World uh, server. And there's a lot of crossover there actually with Bridges of Meaning. But um, so there I was talking and Peugeot shows up. And, and then that, you did the same thing again. You're no, like, I didn't. are you that here? Time, Get out of here. That time I was like, oh, um, Hello there, Peugeot. It, I, I see you've joined. Nice to see you. Um, oh, don't mind me. I'm just talking about my symbolism. Early, my early childhood, because this is no, the talk was over and we were just oh. chatting. That's a thing. Oh, I was just talking about my early, um, my my early philosophical bent as like a ten year old child and thinking I think therefore I am before I even knew what it was. I'm just like bragging about my prowess as a child. Like, you know, no big deal. Like totally how I want to be perceived by by this this guy right here. I'm like, no big deal. And he just like, no, I just am here. I'm just carving. So I just just wanted to join in. And, and then and then someone else was like, oh no, we finished the talk and this is just us hanging out. He's like, okay, I'll just be here. And like, we kept talking. I like finished my story right fast. <laughs> and then, but people just, but, but actually like it, I mean, he, he was quiet the rest of the time. And then he just like silently, like went out the back door and left. Well, we were just talking about how, like on the server that you miss out on all like the hello and goodbye rituals that, that you like come in and like, Oh, hi, how you doing? You know, you meet at the door and then you like take off your shoes or your coat and then, you know, go like, I, you know, I, I kind of wish like when, when people said goodbye on the server, it was a little bit more of an ordeal. Like where everyone's hey, like, okay, Bye. Jess, that's yeah. my thing. Like, that's my, wait, but like, you're okay. Can you like say, say bye, please? Like, <laughs> like to like, like uncomfortably. So like, I've had to pull it back where I'm like, wait, they do. And, and every time someone leaves, every time someone leaves unannounced, I'm like, sorry, Sorry, we weren't interesting enough for you. <laughs> I always Pardon thought that. Me. And then, like, then they come back because it's like, oh, it was a technical issue. And it's like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what if, what if we I made a really channel leave. called the foyer? And so the etiquette the is that you, you oh. yeah, the, is it, is it foyer? Foyer. I say foyer. I say yeah. foyer. It's got to be a Canadian. Yes, oh, you're Canadian thing. too, Topher. What the I heck? Am, yeah. Foyer. Don't uh, they yeah. say foyer in the States? Do they actually say foyer? I'm, I don't, I say foyer. Okay. okay. Well, 
Anyway, if we had a foyer Anywho. on the server, and so that when you, the etiquette was that whenever you join the server, you enter the foyer, and then First. and then there's an opportunity for someone who is in this, like who's in the conversation. We can have a greeter moment. Yeah, well, maybe not, maybe not a particular person who's like designated as, but whoever's kind like of I gotta go and welcoming. Like, oh hey, look, it's it's Jess, and then you pop up into the foyer. Oh Jess, how you doing? Okay, like, we're okay. just talking about this. <laughs> You want okay. to come down and, and you know join the conversation? Oh no, that sounds really boring. See you later. But here's the problem. What if poor little new person is just like waiting in the foyer? To be in, like that's why we have to have greeters. And so like every someone will get a name badge, and then your job is to do two hours in the foyer as a greeter. And then when someone shows, <laughs> we'll just totally. Okay, we're turning into a church. Like this is. I know. A like that was the joke. That was that was the joke. Okay, okay, if fellas. The stick, if the slipper fits, my time because I will stay for the rest of the talk. That's so, fine. I, you you I bring an energy to... that I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like just like screaming, just like ah, just like that. That was perfect. Yep, Do that again. Pretty much. No. I mean, people I need, now. I this to is going to get like two hundred views now. Yep. I mean, four times as popular as our you other guys, salty and fresh. You guys, I checked in on your last video before I came in and it was like at a hundred views. Oh. Oh. Hmm. So Topher like, said it was 50. Uh, you know, I'm trying to be self self-deprecating. Sorry. Okay. It was it was 20 guys. It had gone down. <laughs> the views went down. Okay. It has negative views. More people well, did well, you don't know, right? Is that, uh, is like, you know, there's a hundred view count, but like how many people just like clicked on it and were like, oh, wait a second, this isn't about salt water. <laughs> <laughs> Salty and fresh. Well, okay, so is that, okay, before I leave though, I do need to know. Sure. Is that because of the idea of like the estuary? Estuary. Estuary. But like, yeah. I mean, you guys, it fits your personalities like really well. I'm like, fresh. Like, to yeah, yes. Okay. So like Topher, like- What are you trying to say? <laughs> you're just this salty, like yeah. kind of like stoic -y. Like I I've not seen you this animated ever in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Which yeah, because I, us I usually different... hang out I, while I'm working, right? So I yeah, do this oh, while right, I'm right, working. working. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and so we're but in Jess, the open studio. No, right? no, 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 but Jess is working when yeah. he's on in open studio. And even before open studio. Oh. You know, Jess, like you, like, you're a little like, <clears throat> oh, she said something silly. Like, really, your face. <laughs> yeah, the, the, face the turn in, like, the, the turn and <laughs> smile. And, <laughs> 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 yeah. Jolly little. I'll yeah. turn and face the, I'll, I'll be facing this like, way. Working, yeah, be acknowledgement. Yeah. Oh, you character, Andrea. Like, I could just tell. Anyway, That's silly. so fresh. Salty and fresh. It works. It works really well. And it works in the estuary. And it just, you know, all around is a great little combination. And and yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just explain it again before you go. Uh, that uh, it's just it's one of the things I was noticing when we were started talking about the estuary is that they're like, this, it, there was a ton of energy around it because it's a beautiful metaphor and people were really excited about it. Um, but on the other hand, it... Uh, like the server has never been lighter on salt, right? That like a lot of the people who would have been the salt in the estuary have kind of migrated off, you know, either off of Discord onto, or onto other Discords. And so there's kind of a, a bit of a deficit there. And so mm -hmm. while the conversation was most animatedly and excitedly about the, the kind of interaction of and how great it would be to have more interaction in between salt water and freshwater, um, that there was a mismatch in between the conversation and the actual state of affairs on the server where, right. where, you know, I, and maybe like Joey and a couple other people are like the only salty individuals there. And so it's like, it's kind of never been more fresh and yet we're, we're talking <laughs> about how it's an estuary. And so that's, I, I was, I was doing that as a little bit as a cheeky way of saying like, Hey guys, where's the salt? It's okay, kind of okay, just okay, me. <laughs> Some people have been migrating over from Verveke's. That's true. That's true. Like recently. Have they? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, there's Andre is like a moderator there and he's, um, mm -hmm. he's, he's an agnostic mm -hmm. and he is, he's actually checking out the Jesus project, which is like, I'm like, cool. You go, <laughs> man. It's like, sorry, sorry. We just are like the light of the world. It, like we're mirroring <laughs> it. And we're just like showing Jesus. Love sorry, everyone and, like, becomes a Christian once they come here. Yeah, sorry, we're just really good at like manifesting the spirit. And, like, uh, hey, I've been I've been on for a year and a bit, so you guys, you were doing a really crappy job with it. You know <laughs> what? Not our job. It's spirit yeah. job. So spirit, exactly. get pick up. Yeah, you like there. have a revelation, Topher, and you're like you're like, oh, Christianity is true, but you but you can't 
convert because you still got to be salty on the server. Yeah, exactly. But we are called to be the salt of the world, though, so you could be ah, a different type yeah. of salt. Mm, there you go. And with that, mixing I'm metaphors. Go. I'm a thank, now. thank you so much Bye, for dropping Andrea. by. Andrea. Thank you so yes, much for thanks, dropping guys. by. Thanks for um, opening the door to your neighbor. I, I had a doorbell sound, but I, I, I was sharing my screen here. Let me. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I know wait, this wait, is wait. that would have is... been such a good exit, but I literally had my doorbell ring. Did you? Like when I was in the waiting room, and I was like, "How did he do that?" I didn't. Well, you I didn't. But I thought I was like, "Did I hear it through the waiting room?" Maybe we can, maybe we can add it in post. Jeff, get on it. Uh, Jeff, we need a doorbell in post. <laughs> Just cut that sound out and move it on. Sure. Okay, but like I am, I am leaving All right. now. Right? All right, let's make an ordeal about it. Bye, Andrea. Yeah. Bye, So guys. good to see you. Thanks Big hugs. <laughs> see you on the server. Time. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, Andrea with the bangs. That was lovely. Thank was you, Andrea. Lovely. Thank you for stopping by our our podcast here. It's salty and fresh. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's good. Yeah, the the metaphor for uh, the estuary, like I was thinking about that. I couldn't get it into the conversation about Benjamin Boyce, but when you when you have like a celebrity like that, you can you can and a, you know a yeah, big influx yeah. of people. You you throw off the ecosystem because it's like you can have an invasive invasive species or something. You know, it's things get really political all of a sudden or. Yeah or whatever. And I think that's, I think you're right that that's what Paul was uh, trying to Boy, yeah. mitigate. So a, uh, another, a, you know, we gotta, we gotta work towards wrapping this up. Um, okay. Maybe a, uh, maybe another a one, one, one last riff to, to touch on. Cause we, I think we might have a, a couple things. So uh, just to kind of point to some other elements of the larger discord area. Um, so I just recently learned that apparently Job is doing a podcast. Uh, so I, I, I mentioned the server to someone and they said, oh, I was I just, you know, yeah, I, thanks for thanks for the suggestion. I just checked out the podcast. It sounds pretty interesting. And I was like, we have a podcast. <laughs> so it's like a Bridges of Meeting podcast. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Oh. There's a Bridges of, yeah, there's a Bridges of Meeting podcast. Job's on it or Job, Job is hosting, it, I believe. Is he um, like interviewing people or is it like solo or what? I really don't know. So, so homework for next, the homework for next week, Job has a podcast. But here's, here's the thing, out. like Job and a bunch of people, a bunch of admins I know mm -hmm. have gone to do that Exodus 90 thing. Yep. You heard about this? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So they're, they're, they're gone, gone for three months. Maybe, maybe the podcast is the only, like, that's the one, they, the they one, can still uh, do that. the smoke signs that'll be there. Uh, they'll get in touch with us through the, through the podcast um the uh so that's one thing the other thing is that there's a radical orthodoxy which might be a serial as well i I, only, I don't know if there's multiple episodes of it or not but paul riffed riffed on it in one of his recent uh okay. monologues he was talking about radical orthodoxy which apparently is a uh, maybe a, a sister channel to ours um featuring michael nathan uh, i think julian might have been on it uh for my, oh, my really? apologies i think luke too maybe I think there might be four of them. Anyway, um, so yeah. Is it radical there's... orthodoxy or radical theology? I just figured out this morning that those two things are different things. Uh, I, I, I believe the show is called Rad Radical Orthodoxy. And on okay. it, um, one, of the, one of the things that uh, Michael was talking about, who I don't know if I've talked to too much, but there was a gentleman named Michael who apparently is on the, on the server and on that show. Yep. And he was talking about, um, you know, kind of his own deconstruction and then his own, and then kind of the rebound from his re deconstruction. And one of the things that he was talking about, which links back to something that you were saying last week, is kind of taking something as far as it goes and then finding the flip. And so he was talking about how, you know, he, he rode the materialism, you know, the scientific materialist, uh, you know, deconstructed atheist thing as far as he could. And, and that yet in, in that frame, um, it was kind of he he couldn't help but find it insufficient um, that it kind of didn't work uh, at least not for him and that uh, and I'm apologize to Michael if I'm uh, if I'm not well uh, paraphrasing what you were saying I, I hope I'm getting the gist of it um, and that 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 yeah he took it as far as he could it didn't work and and that one of the reasons why it didn't work is because there's too much kind of too much beauty too much symmetry too much uh, kind of too much alignment, kind of too much, you know, people might call it like fractal or something like that. I think yeah. the, the symbolic guys are onto this. Yeah. And, well, and just like, I think, I think in within orthodoxy and within symbolism, I think there's this kind of idea. Uh, I think the, uh, 
matryoshka dolls are kind of gesturing to this oh yeah and it's kind of that, you know so as so below as above that kind of that that yeah you know if you have things properly set up that you'll find this kind of uh stacking nature or kind of this scaling nature of uh of reality and of symbolism and of etc and that be and which is kind of suggestive of some sort of kind of underlying uh coherence like an underlying coherence or truth or beauty or reason to yeah. reality and that that is um you know it's uh um it kind of it's a hint right that like if and if if you if you let yourself see it if you let yourself acknowledge it then that maybe the uh you know that kind of atheist conclusion of like it's all random it's all meaningless it's all whatever it's all uh in, in my imagination what yeah it did, like it's like well then you know how how does it like it all seems to line up so well how what do you like and so that almost it, if you allow yourself to see that if the, you know the miraculousness of reality mm -hmm. say then um then to posit that it's random is almost as much of a stretch as to posit if you you know if you uh, let's say a specific, a specific explanation of a creator, right. That it's like, okay, like we have this miraculous, miraculous and inexplicable and amazingly coherent and reasonable reality around us. Um, what's your explanation, right? Your exp Oh, your explanation is it's just chance. It's just like that. That's just a random roll of the dice. And it just happened yeah. to come out like this, like, really? All right. Yeah. And then, and then you're going to look at me saying like, it's X, Y, and Z, this specific answer. And you're going to say that that's a, a leap of faith, that that's ridiculous. It's like, I don't know, man. I think, uh, I think, uh, you know, look in the mirror. I think we're, I think we're, you know, to the extent that we're, uh, we both, yeah, that we might both be kind of, uh, pointing Making, to. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually in a, I'm, I'm on Voxer with Michael and, I just met Michael through Voxer because Luke invited me to a thing and, and we've been chatting on there and it's mm. been so, so good. We've been, it's been pretty intense. Like sometimes I'm like, I don't, I don't know half the stuff they're talking about. They, they just did a, on the Randos channel, they just did a, the latest episode as of now, the one right after our first salty and fresh um, was yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Then, then, uh, yeah, that, I just I just watched part of it this morning. It was pretty yeah. good. Yeah, and Paul was pointing to it as well as pretty as pretty high level. That like he was, I think he was like he was proudly pointing it, saying like you know, uh, here's here's the Discord community. Part of what the Discord community is, guys like this, and check this out because this is some pretty you know like these are Christians, but these aren't stupid Christians. And uh, and you know, way to go, guys. Um, so he he seemed he seemed like a proud papa when he was uh, kind of. Uh, pointing Looks to it good. In, in, in his monologue yeah i mean i think it's luke and cal and and michael who are in that they were like it's uh they're taking everything really seriously and it's not something you can just um wave your hands at and say doesn't matter <laughs> but uh, so we'll be we'll be the we'll be the entrance point we'll be the doorway to them we'll be the the next rung down on the ladder so that you know, yeah, so I hope you, so. You, 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 you can, if you like salty and fresh, but you want it, you want it to be a little bit, a <laughs> little bit smarter and a little bit more, a little together. stronger taste. If you want yeah. a little, uh, exactly. little something, something in your, yeah, exactly. <laughs> then pop up to, pop up to, uh, to radical orthodoxy where the, where, where the big boys play. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, well, Topher, it's been a pleasure talking with you again. Um, and until next time, right on. Um, Thank you. Uh, thank you to the five people who actually watched us. Thanks, Mom. Yep. You, Shout you, outs. you keep us going. Yeah. And, uh, and, and thank you to the, the, those who were commenting down below the last episode. Nathan uh, was, was, you know, threw a bunch of comments out there. Sally, mm -hmm. Luke, uh, you know, thanks. Uh, thanks for saying hi. Thanks for, for watching all the way through and uh, we'll, yep. we'll see you next week. All right. We'll see you on the discord.